trees are life. That is the essence of who they are. They are beings in this world that put more energy into their sustaining ecologies than what they take out. And to me, that's, that's a huge lesson for us as people. What can we give more than we take out? And the tree is our teacher and our mentor in that. There are so many layers to how they do that. That's the beauty of it. They are, you know, there's a reason why we call the tree of life the essence of cycles, the essence of what it is to live, the essence of what it is to breathe and to exhale and inhale and in that share our energy with the world. So trees, they connect us. That's another thing that they do. Trees, through their root systems, through their relationships with the mycelium, they, they, they create a net of life. And so wherever the trees are, they are netting life together. That can look a lot of different ways. It could look like the soils themselves. When you take the trees out, the soils will dissipate. When you take the trees out, biodiversity drops. When you take the trees out, there's less water coming into your landscape. When you take the trees out, there's less water going into and deep into the soils to recharge your wells and your spring lines. When you take the trees out of a landscape, you take out an elder. And it's something that, you know, when I look around right here, there are so many elders that are surrounding us, reminding us to stand tall, reminding us to to give, reminding us to provide shade to those that need shade. The trees also remind us that we can house and hold the world around us. I, I'm looking at some of the trees behind the camera here and there's all sorts of nests, there's all sorts of houses, there's all sorts of uh, places for so many to live. And I think of how the um, the trees are home to so many. And even when I look at the buildings here, there's, there's wood from the trees in these buildings. And you start to think of how, how many of us are housed by the trees, not just the human species, but so many other species. I think of how the trees moderate extremes in a time where extremes are the norm. We are in a time where extremes are getting worse in every direction. And the trees are the one, one of the most prominent living beings that moderate extremes. And it, there's, there's so many reasons why they do that. It's because of their relationship with water and how we can learn how to have good relationships with water as well, just like the trees that teach us to do that. I, I also think of how the trees harvest nutrient out of the wind. They bring in nutrient from far away places and they ground it. They bring that nutrient in and they share it with other beings. I think of how the trees even feed themselves and the relationships with the other plants that they have around them. I think of how the trees give us direction. When you look off and you see a tree and you can see it for a long way, it gives you a place to head to. They're prominent on the landscape. I think of how trees also create conditions that are conducive for the next generations to find their spark of life. And without trees, there is no future, I believe, for people, but for many, many other species of beings. And so when I think of what is it that we are really here for as humans, 
We are here to plant seeds for a time beyond our own. And I think the trees are one way that we can steward a gift to the future generations. So if we can keep 1,800 trees from being cut, we can provide 1,800 gifts that will last for generations to come. And when I speak of a gift, I mean the gift of life. And I mean that from my heart because I know all of us plant trees for a time beyond our own in our own ways. But if you can save a tree that's already there, that will produce thousands and thousands of trees for generations and generations. Just think of one acorn from an oak tree and how that one acorn could be a forest in just not very many generations. So I'm just going to leave you with that and I, I appreciate those of you who are keepers and protectors of the trees because we are in a time where there's no, there's, there's nothing more noble and more honorable to do than to protect trees who protect us and the future of all those children that are yet unborn. Thank you.